Hello again, YouTubers on with SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with part 26 of our SpongeBob Adventures in a Jam playthrough. If you missed out any previous part, link to the playlist is in the iCards and the description box below. We are starting off here back at King Krabs' castle. Now this video, or this part of the playthrough, is probably going to be our most lengthy one because I'm trying to fit as much stuff as possible into this video before we get to the worldwide launch of the game. Now, uh, speaking of that, of course, we now have the announcement from the developers that the app will be releasing worldwide on September 26th this year, 2023. So the pre-order for iOS is actually available now. If you are in the United States, for example, you can now go over to the App Store, search up SpongeBob Adventures, and you should see the pre-order option there. So you also get a notification when the app is released if you do pre-order and again it is free to play with in-app purchases so yeah really exciting stuff now i kind of expected this to be what was going to happen in the first place for those folks who were saying that oh you know it might release early now i i think the game has a lot of improvements that are required uh, there are a couple bugs, you know, and also some quality of life updates that they have had, in fact, been adding over time, which is a good thing, by the way. So now the only main thing that I think would be a improvement at this point, aside from new content, is the energy capacity. So a lot of you have commented in the comments of previous parts of this series about how you know being at lower levels like it feels as if you have to keep coming back again and again and again just to clear the smallest of things and while i haven't experienced that right now i do feel your pain because i'm recording this voiceover well after all of this footage is actually recorded so um, i'm recording this voiceover on september 21st so it's a couple of days away from the worldwide release we do have that golden doubloon here i know i'm not really talking about the content in this video per se for now but this is really important so the energy capacity is something that is a really big complaint and i think the developers if anyone from tilting point or the uh will app I think the developers are Will App and the publisher is Tilting Point. So yeah, it's kind of upside down for me. But yeah, anyways, if that is possible, you know, probably rework the energy system. So yeah, think nothing of it. I'm just going to quickly go through the dialogue here. Well, maybe think a little bit of it. Now we just have to get over there and get some precious metals. If only there was some way to bridge that gap. Exactly, Patrick. Exactly what? Let's build a bridge. I wish I thought of that. Okay, so yeah, Madame Hackfish is a recurring character in this world as well as in the next one, which we will be seeing, I think, in part 27. So floating wooden bridge, we can fix that right here. Uh, that is pretty convenient. Oh, look at the treasure. Well, I think we can have all the precious metals we can carry. It looks like the uh, treasure room from Atlantis Square Pantis, if you ask me. Uh, really nice and kind of random that it's in a cave like this with all the treasure chests and all that. But then again, could make sense. Can't we get out of here? Me thinks I'm all caved out. Better to be caved out than to be caved in. Um, okay, yep, yeah, that's true. Can we just go? <laughs> okay, so yeah, we do have to harvest some of the treasure here in order to, I think, set the dining table for King Crab, so let's quickly do some of that and I'll get back to my monologue about the uh, game state and its upcoming launch. Quest complete as well. So yeah, um, now the game, as I said, really requires a little bit of changing for the energy. Now you can see here I am at level 15 and really it's because I don't really play this app on a regular basis. I know I've been away from the channel for quite a long while over the past month of September and it's just because you know i've been busy and this app well <laughs> it goes down to the same thing like uh, i'm not well to be frank attracted to play this app like non-stop you know so sometimes i really just forget and i'm just like oops uh, yeah totally forgot to record a new segment when the energy respawns so yeah uh, that's the unfortunate thing about the energy respawn again it is intended for you to uh, get you to keep coming back to the app 
and to perhaps spend some money just to allay your annoyance with having to keep coming back to the app. And that is not necessarily、um, a bad thing because the developers have to make money somehow. But of course, it is kind of frustrating、uh, if you have to keep doing that. And thankfully, over the beta, I would call this the beta before the worldwide release,、uh, that hasn't been so much of a problem for me. But it might be a problem for some of you, as you have pointed out. So, yeah. Oh, Mr. King Crabs, Your Highness, sir, we have returned with precious metals. Okie dokie, then. How did thou survive the dragon's lair? What? I mean, he was expecting us to not survive? The real precious metals were the friends we made along the way. What a lame statement. <laughs> I'm sure I don't know what to say to that. Yeah, so why don't we just have a feast? I like the sound of that. Okay, so let's see what we have to do here. Goblet. Oh, wait, we still need a goblet. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of a little bit of what I'm talking about. You know, you gotta just keep coming back. So let's cut away. I'm gonna quickly get some sugar squeeze energy here so we can go back to the. Cave and harvest some of those precious metals because, we, again, you saw we still need those goblets, I think. So, four more of them. Alrighty.、Um, let's just keep, let's just start harvesting these since we have a full energy bar. I still find it kind of hilarious how, you know, the characters get、uh, or, or Remove obstacles. It's just strange because, like, Patrick hits it with the pillow, and somehow the money pile is supposed to go poof. Oh, that's it, and that's gone. So, yeah. Now,、um, you can see I am actually just、uh, unlocking all of these. Now, I sh what I should have done is just, well, oh, yeah. So, the thing is, I should have found out where. Which specific obstacles to remove, and you can actually do that by looking at the quest guidance, right? So,、uh, at this point, when I was recording it, I was just going it blindly, going at it blindly.、Uh, but you need to remove the chests, so the chests are the ones that contain the goblets, just FYI, in case you're watching this and you haven't gotten to this point in the game. All right, so we still need a couple more, and we'll get those shortly once we have our energy respawned or reset. All right, just one more energy, huh? Just to remove that one chest.、Uh, we get one more goblet from it, but we still need one more. So, yeah, gonna have to wait. All righty, energy has been recharged. I should say recharged because not respawn. I mean, only characters respawn. We've got our last goblet there, and I think I'm just gonna quickly remove a couple more of these piles just for fun because they do give you coins, which is useful, as well as that metallic bronze ore.、Uh, I, should familiar my, I should familiarize myself with the、uh, terms of the items, but, anyways, back to King Krabs' castle. We can now set the table. All right, so that's step one and Royal Krabby Patty. Okay, we need to get one of those and we need a bun and the lettuce. All right, let's go get that right there. Now,、uh, this probably was the most complex level so far、uh, and the most lengthy one as well. So, I wouldn't be surprised if Doom Tower, which is actually the next zone, is of similar length or difficulty. But I can tell you from what I've already recorded、uh, ahead of time、uh, that part 27 is going to be consisting of a lot of like different cuts because the amount of energy required to harvest things there are just absolutely insane. So, yeah, that's why I said I can kind of understand you guys now when you say, like, oh,、uh, the energy is absolutely insufficient in terms of what you can have on hand. Okay, let's quickly get one bag of flour here and we can make a bun. And then that should be ready. We just have to wait for those to finish. Some cheese here. Now you can see I'm actually harvesting random things.、Uh, I should point out that eventually the, the excess items that you don't use are just going to be converted into other regular items. So you're not really losing everything, you're just getting something in exchange. Now, the value of which I cannot say because. Um, sometimes the items are for like SpongeBob's collectibles and his pineapple, or something you can exchange for Crystal Dave. So, you know, it really depends on what you get, and it feels a little bit random too. Okay, dialogue time. So, did you find enough precious metal with which to construct a new royal spatula? Well, I think we did. We sure did. Oh, yeah. 
So why are you still here? Should you not hide your butts over to the blacksmith and get to smithing? You really ask the tough questions, SpongeBob. Okay, uh, well, off we go. Why is SpongeBob so fearful? Okay, then again, oh, we do have that little scroll. That's pretty cool. Just look at Krabs there, eating his Krabby Patty. <laughs> Anyways, Festa Table, quest complete. Okay, so another decree scroll. We need to leave the castle and give the knight the scroll. So let's do that, if I can get out of here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now this was the moment where I was like, wait a minute, there's still more to this level? Yeah, because I've been saying this over the past, like, I think four videos. This map is really big because it comprises of like the main area, which is this one that you see, the castle, and the cave. And this area itself is huge, so uh, yeah, we have all sorts of different directions branching out from the castle. Uh, anyways, we have to make our way over there. So remove debris, and then over there. Okay, so let's remove that. There we go. It's really important to actually remove the only key items, but sometimes I really just can't identify the specific key items you need to unlock the path. Because sometimes there's a whole bunch of items there, or obstacles. So yeah, anyways, Blacksmith. I totally forgot about him, so it does still kind of make sense why he's here. Oh, Village Smithy, canst thou help us to craft a spatula fit for a king? I think yes, say so yes, right? A royal spatula? I could craft one for you, but my workshop is in a dire state at the moment. Well, it's covered in jelly, so maybe we can help you fix it. Can you swing a hammer? Swing one? Absolutely. Hitting something isn't guaranteed. This is the kind of dialogue I appreciate. <laughs> well, let's get to work. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Peaceful land, quest complete. And then over there, restore Blacksmith's hut. So we need the gauntlet as well as some chalk stone. All right, so we have the chalk stone right there, but no, uh, well, insufficient energy. So hopefully we can get some from the sugar squeeze cart here. And uh, yeah, I'm really running out of energy for the candy vending machine. So that's kind of disappointing, but you know, here we go. We got 70. Now we can head back over to King Krabs' castle. Now, again, this part of the video I actually recorded before the latest update. So at a point of recording the voiceover, the latest update is now version 2.0.0. And we do have a new title screen, as well as a new loading screen, and even a new map. So there are no new areas as of yet, but you know, we're just approaching the game's worldwide launch. So uh, you gotta give it time, developers have to, you know, have some time to actually develop new areas. And look at this gigantic chalkstone monolith here. 36 energy for the first stage. Then we need another, oh, we got some energy from Gary, that's helpful. Day 18, daily reward, more energy, that's great as usual. And we are back here with the chalkstone. Let's remove it, 32 energy for stage number two. Okay, with the pillow. <laughs> 24 for stage 3. And then 14 for the last one. Alright, so we have our chalk stone. And uh, we need a... Oh wait, no, that's not the one. Yeah, there we go. So stage 1. And then stage 2, a coin bucket. Okay, so heading back to Bikini Bottom right here. Arcade Shop. It's new. And uh, I'm not sure if this was a level 15 reward it must have been there for quite a while, but I didn't, I never built it because, well, I was focused on the story and, uh, you know, the energy thing too. Okay, so let's see here. No, that's not that, the one that I was talking about. There we go, stage one of three. Uh, we do need a couple of things here. Let's quickly harvest those. We need the baskets, some wooden planks, and we're just gonna play the waiting game now. I'm gonna quickly plant a extra plant bed here just to make it like even, but um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for now. Day 19, daily reward, 40 energy, that's great. And I'm really behind on the explorer points thingy, but uh, I don't feel like it's worth it to even bother. <laughs> but we will have to use it for a quest later on. So yeah, no running away from that. 
Let's get some barrels. Day 20, daily reward. Okay, so where are we here? Congratulations, put it in Bikini Bottom, then open it and get a reward. Okay, so that chest right there, gonna put that there. We start off at 12,600 something, and I think it's gonna give us like a thousand coins? No, it's gonna give us 500 coins, okay. Let's harvest some of the milk here. In terms of the building, Sage 2 is completed. And now we need a construction bench and a fiber jar. So, yeah, there we go. Two of those construction benches, fiber jar. Now that's going to be from Discount Grocery Mart. Okay, let's make those. I repositioned the arcade machine or arcade games shop thingy. Uh, to another side of the map and we should be done very soon now of course with all this cutting of the clips you know uh, it doesn't represent a real amount of time there we go finally arcade <laughs> it doesn't represent the true amount of time required to go through this so but you know I'm still showing you what does happen okay so yeah we have the arcade there we go the new it's title screen day one daily reward so that was what i was referring to earlier the chum bucket is also apparently a new building we've already had it for quite some time so i'm not sure if it actually is intended to like make chum or something just like it did in spongebob moves in we also have this new free gems uh, i think it's on a 12 hourly or daily basis you get three of them as of the recording of this video for every like 12 or 24 hours resident evil quest complete um are these repeat quests I'm not sure. Clean up Patrick's house. Quest complete. Home sweet home. Quest complete. My precious collection. Exchange a collection for a reward. We can do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can, right? We have plenty of items by now. Yeah, let's do the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy memorabilia um, right there. Collection hall. You have unlocked a new building. Well, it's always been there, so <laughs> weird. My precious collection, quest complete. We do get the um, experience points from it, so that's a bonus. Craft some cans. Yeah, so with this new update, I think this portion was for the 1.6.0? Could be. Forgot. <laughs> Craft buckets of coins. A place freedom. Yeah, so we can now put Sandy's freedom here. Uh, which is cool. We also can get a tree bed, which I'm not going to do right now. Prepare oyster custard pie. And so on. Level 16. There we go. So yes, I know I just cut in here, but I was basically doing some harvesting. We got clam, seahorse, another construction company uh, residence, as well as the shady shoals. That's really cool. And we have a uh, plus one maximum energy capacity. Now that's pretty pathetic if you ask me. It should be like a plus five or plus ten for every level you level up through. But again, something for the developers to uh, consider there. Okay, uh, let's make some more feed here. And I'm going to get through this. Yeah, so we have a new map here. You can see chapter one, that's what it looks like. And chapter two, uh, which is where we are at right now. And there you go, the loading screen for a brief moment there. So yeah, Plankton is strangely humongous. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a bummer how Plankton just fades away after the end of episode one or like at the chum bucket zone. Now we're basically trying to fix stuff that went wrong because of him, but he's just like out of the way now. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Ruin Forge, quest complete. And then next up, uh, well, we have the Patty Hype. No, that's not the one. Craft a Royal Spatula. So we do have to wait for that to be done. I'm just gonna speed it up because that's not worth waiting. Here be the finest spatula in all of Crabdom. Okay, let's Crabdom. Truly a spatula fit for a king. I can't wait to give it to him. Oh no, I'll deliver it. I'm not letting you take the credit for my work. This sounds a little bit sketchy, honestly. Well, we as you wish. What? What shall we do then? We put the spatula in yon fancy case I fashion. His Highness shall be mightily impressed. Okay, so we're just going to put it in that case. It's going to disappear and done. Can we do anything else? Nope, that's it. You're done. 
Oh, finally, we can go home and this game has ended. Uh, there is nothing else anybody needs you to do. I think you'd probably just go home. Yeah, just go home. Oh, crap shows up. Wait. I stand corrected. My precious progeny, Princess Pearl, has been purloined. I'm sorry, what? My daughter has been snatched by that sinister planktonomore and spirit away to Doom Tower. And you want us to rescue her? And I want you to rescue her. What did I say? Okay, yeah, so I guess that's our ticket to Doom Tower. Uh, we get some extra golden nuggets there, strange key, quest complete. And my work, my reward, quest complete. Trusted blacksmith, quest complete. And find a road that leads to the Doom Tower. So yeah, that's great. Finally, we're moving on out of this zone. Uh, that's not to say that the next zone wouldn't be as ex wouldn't be as big, I guess. Expansive. <laughs> oh well. So clearing more of these obstacles. Which one is it? Seriously, was that plank? Ah, well. Okay, it must be the logs here, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and over here we have two very ancient pillars blocking the way. Reminds me of Atlantis. I'm pretty sure they did reuse some assets in between areas. Doom Tower straight ahead. Through the dark forest and over the swamp, it's off to Doom Tower we go. Man, what an adventure. You always know how to make it fun, SpongeBob. And I haven't gotten to the part about the secret passage. Is this foreshadowing or he's just making stuff up? Isn't there a bus or something? Uh, probably not. Where is your sense of adventure, Patrick? Sometimes a bus is an adventure. That's true, actually. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna end out the video here for now. Make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys again in the next part. Part 27 will head off to Doom Tower. Find a road that leads to Doom Tower quest complete. But yeah, I think that's all for me for, for now. Playing Town and More awaits. So yeah, finally we are out of King Crab's Castle. Till next time, see you guys later. Bye!